the overall goal of the following experiment is to study the MRI signals related to the attentional responses to visual stimuli. This is achieved by scanning subjects while they attend to emotional stroop stimuli. At the same time, button press responses to the stimuli are recorded, which are the measure of behavior that will be correlated to the signals in the brain. Additionally, the subject's eye movements are recorded with an eye tracker within the scanner in order to obtain a measure of attentional selection. Results are obtained that show inferior frontal gyrus activation based on analysis of the correlations of behavior and fMRI signal during the stimulus response task. The main advantage of this technique over other ones such as positron emission tomography is that subjects can be scanned for up to two hours. This system helps us understand a little bit more about frontal cortex inhibition. Dysfunction of this system is implicated in various neuropathologies such as ADHD and Tourette syndrome. Before beginning this experiment, potential participants should complete a study consent form as well as a standard MRI screening questionnaire. Subjects with any contraindications to MRI must be excluded. Once paperwork is complete, provide the subject with a training session on the anti-saccade task. Here, a green fixation indicates a pro-saccade trial. Instruct the participant to look at the target appearing in the periphery of the screen at a visual angle of 8 to 10 degrees. A red fixation indicates an anti-saccade trial. Instruct the participant to look...